everyone. Welcome to Singapore Tutorials, SP Gubi Online Classes for NCRT and CBSC 10th Standard for Mathematics and Science. So, this session will be a special session because it is the 100th video from Sangam Tutorials that is SP Gubi Online Classes for 10th Standard students. So, on this occasion, I, will, I would like to take the opportunity to thank all the parents for their support and the students who are watching these videos. So, still more videos are going to come in future, more and more sessions we are going to do. So, very, very fast we are going to start with the chemistry sessions also, including physics. So, with this we will enter into today, today's session. So, once again I thank you all for your beautiful support. Right. So, in today's video we will be going with some more riders, very important riders which are uh, picked from your previous year's papers that is from CBSE and also Karnataka state syllabus which are very important problems. So, these problems may come in the exams or may not come in the exams. That's not at all the matter here. The main thing is the knowledge the concept which you have to learn. So, <clears throat> learn for the knowledge, get the knowledge, learn the concept very, very, very precisely so that marks will come. No doubt in that. Behind knowledge, there is marks. Right? So, with these things, we will enter into today's problem. It was asked in 2013 final examination of CBSC paper. Uh, very important. This, it is for 3 marks. So, in the figure, ABC is a right angled triangle. So, ABC you can see here, it is a right angled triangle which is right angled at uh, B. AD and CE are two medians. So, very important. So, AD and CE are two medians. So, median is a line drawn from the uh, vertex of a triangle to the base which divides the base into two equal parts. That is called a median. So, AD and CE are two medians drawn from A and C. So, you can see here, from A, this is the median that is AD drawn to the base BC. So, it divides BC into two equal parts. So, again, e, CE is another median drawn from uh, the vertex C. So, it divides AB into two equal parts that is AE and EB. So, I have uh, designed in the same manner here also, you can see the same design. Okay, if AC is equal to 5 centimeters, so length of AC is uh, 5 centimeters. And then AD is 3 root 5 by 2 centimeters. This AD, length of this median is 3 root uh, 5 by 2 centimeters. So this length. So this length is uh, 3 root 2 by 5 centimeters. So if this is the case, find the value of CE. So find the length of CE. So this length you have to find out. Okay. So it's a very, very important writer. You have to practice this. Listen very carefully. Watch the problem, how it develops. Right. So, you get the uh, importance of this. It is a 3 mark question. Right. So, in triangle ABC, let us uh, start with the solution. So, in triangle ABC, angle B is equal to 90 degrees. So, by applying Pythagoras theorem, so that is the short form I am writing. So, you please write the full form of that. So, angle B is equal to 90 degrees. So, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square as we apply Pythagoras here. So, AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So, I have applied Pythagoras theorem for the bigger triangle you can see the triangle ABC. So, now here we have the value for AC that is 5 centimeter. Let us substitute that. So, therefore, AB square plus BC square is equal to 5 whole square. That is instead of AC I have substituted 5. So, AB square plus BC square is equal to 5 square is 25, take it as equation 1. Because we have to find the length of uh, CE, uh, we, CE is, we have to find the length of CE here. So, CE is in triangle EBC, it is inside triangle EBC. So, if you want to find CE, you should be knowing uh, BE and BC. So, if you know, if you find out BE and BC, then you can easily find out CE by applying Pythagoras theorem. So, our target is to find out the length of BE and the length of BC. That's very important. Okay. 
So now let us take uh, triangle <coughs> ABD in this triangle. Let us take triangle ABD. It is also a right angle triangle which is right angle at B. So in triangle ABD, in triangle ABD angle B is equal to 90 degrees. So by again applying Pythagoras theorem. So opposite to 90 degrees is AD square. So AD square is equal to AB square plus BD square. AB square plus BD square. So AD square value, value is given. AD square value is uh, 3 root 5 by 2. So this we will write it. 3 root 5, we will substitute that by 2. Whole square is equal to AB square we do not know and uh, BD square we do not know. Okay. So AB square plus instead of this BD, we can write it as half of BC because D is the midpoint of BC and BD is half of BC and DC is half of BC. So therefore instead of BD, we will write it as half of BC. So it is half of BC whole square. So 3 root 5 by 2 whole square is uh, the square applies for all three elements 3 root 5 and 2. So it becomes 9 root that is uh, 9 into square and root cancels. So it becomes 5 by that is uh, 2 square is again 4. So is equal to AB square plus half BC square is BC square by 4. Okay. So 9 5 is 45 by 4. 45 by 4 is equal to AB square plus BC square by 4. BC square by 4. So let us make AB square as the subject. So if you make AB square as the subject, 45 by 4 remains in the LHS as it is, but BC square by 4 will be transposed to this, this side. So therefore, BC plus BC square by 4 becomes minus BC square by 4. Okay. So AB square is equal to for 4 and 4 LCM is 4, 45 by 4 into 4 is 45 minus BC square. So, okay, we will stop it here. We will make uh, AB square as the subject and we will stop it here. Okay, so now let us take this as equation 2. So now let us substitute this equation 2 in equation 1 because in equation 1 we have AB square plus BC square is equal to 25. So instead of AB square we will substitute this. 45 minus BC square by 4 because here also we have BC square in the substitution of AB square also we have BC square so like terms will be there so therefore we can easily find out the value of BC square so now <coughs> substitute equation uh, 2 in equation 1 okay so AB square instead of uh, AB square I am going to write 45 minus BC square by 4 plus again BC square is equal to that is 25 right so it is by 1 so for 4 and 1 uh, LCM becomes 4 right so 45 minus BC square by 4 into 4 is 45 minus BC square plus BC square by 1 into 4 is 4 BC square is equal to 25 so now 45 remains as it is minus 1 bc square plus 4 bc square is plus 3 bc square by 4 is equal to 25. So by 20, below 25 the denominator we have 1 so therefore we will go with cross multiplication. So 45 plus 3 bc square into 1 is 45 plus 3 bc square is equal to 25 into 4 is exactly 100 okay so 3 bc square is equal to 100 minus 45 okay bc square is equal to 100 minus 45 is 55 by 3 so the value of bc square is 55 by 3 so exactly we have got the value of this bc square so now we have to find the value of uh, ab square ab square is also ready but it is having BC in it. So therefore, exact value of AB square has to be found out. So therefore, AB square is equal to 45 minus BC square by 4. So AB square is equal to 45 minus BC square is 55 by 3, 55 by 3 by 4. 
So, <coughs> okay. So, AB square is equal to, uh, we'll take uh, LCM for this, 45 by 1 we have for 1 and 3 LCM is uh, 3. So, 45 by 1 into 3 is uh, 135 uh, minus 55 by 3 into 3 is uh, 55 by, we have 4 here and below 4 we have 1. So, AB square is equal to, AB square is equal to 135 minus, okay, 135, so it is uh, 50, so okay, 135, we will subtract this, that is 5 minus 5 is uh, 0, and uh, 13 minus 5 is uh, 8, 80 by 3 into 4 by 1, when we take the reciprocal, it becomes 1 by 4, so AB square is equal to, 80 by 3 4 is 12, so 2 6 it goes to 40 is a, to 3 is a, and it is to 20 is a. okay, it is 20 by 3, so the value of uh, AB square, okay, we will write it here, value of AB square is equal to 20 by 3, okay, now we have got the value of uh, AB square, so this AB square we have got, but we need the value of PE square, because E is the midpoint of AB, therefore we need the value of BE. In order to apply Pythagoras theorem for triangle BEC, we need the value of BE. So BE is, BE is half of AB. So we can take uh, BE square is half of AB square. So BE square is equal to, BE square is equal to half into, half of or we can take it like this, BE is half of uh, AB, so AB, okay, B square is half of AB square, so B square is equal to half into 20 by 3, 20 by 3, so 2 1s are to 10 side goes, so B square is equal to 10 by 3, so the value of B square is 10 by 3, so I will give you a task for the final step, so here, B E we have got it as B square we have got it as uh, 10 by 3 and B C square we have got it as value here it is ready that is 55 by 3. So I will do the problem here itself and this gap right. So okay C square is equal to C square is equal to B square plus B C square B square plus B C square. So C square is equal to B E square is just we have found out that is uh, 10 by 3 plus B C square. B C square we have found out the value that is 55 by 3. So it is 55 by 3. So C square is equal to for 3 and 3 LCM is uh, 3. So 10 plus 55 we have got. So C square is equal to uh, it is uh, 10 plus 55 that is 65 by 3. So taking square root on both sides, you are going to get the value of 65. Okay. So when you take the square root of C square on both sides, that is square root of C square is equal to square root of 65 by 3, you are going to get the value of this uh, CE. I hope you will do the next last step. So, BC square, we have got the value of 55 by 3 and uh, BE square, we have got the value as, uh, that is 10 by 3. So, 1 by 2, BE square is equal to half of uh, AB square. So, BE square is equal to 1 by 2 into AB square is 20 by 3, I have taken this. So, alright. So it is uh, 2 1s are 2 10s are it goes, it is 10 by 3. So B square is 10 by 3. So B square becomes 10 by 3. So when you apply B for triangle BEC, when you apply Pythagoras theorem, you are going to get the value of C square. So just take square root on both sides for the value what you get, then you will reach to CE. Right. I hope you will continue the last step. Right. Very important.
Okay, let us get into the second problem. Very important uh, rider for two marks. Very, very important. So, it, is, it was given in uh, uh, SSLC final examination for two marks. It is taken from those papers. So, AD is the altitude from A to BC. AD is the altitude from A to BC of triangle ABC here. And B, DB is to CD is equal to 3 is to 1. BD is to CD is equal to 3 is to 1. So, that is there in the ratio 3 is to 1. So, BD is thrice DC. That is the meaning of that. Okay. So, to prove that BC square is equal to, BC square is equal to, the square on BC is equal to, twice the difference between the squares AB and AC. Squares on AB and AC. So, that is the meaning of that. So, let us get into the data. So, in triangle ABC, okay, AD perpendicular to BC, that is very important. And uh, here, BD is to DC is equal to 3 is to 1. BD is to DC is uh, 3 is to 1 uh, ratio. So, here, we know that BC is, BC is BD plus DC. BD plus DC. So, BC is equal to BD is 3 units and BC is 1 unit. So, that becomes 3 plus 1. So, BC is equal to 4 units. So, BC is 4 units. Entire BC is 4 units here. So, out of these 4 units, this is 3 units and out of these 4 units again, this is 1 unit. So, BD will be 3 by 4th of BC and DC will be 1 by 4th of BC. Okay, something like that. Okay, we have to prove that, we have to prove that BC square is equal to 2 into AB square minus AC square. So, let us get into the proof, right, very important. So, first select triangle ADB, select this triangle which is a right angle triangle. So, opposite to right angle is the hypotenuse. So, AB square in triangle ABD. Angle D is equal to 90 degrees. So, AB square is equal to AB square is equal to AD square plus BD square. AD square plus BD square. So, take it as uh, equation 1 by applying Pythagoras theorem. So, select another triangle. In triangle ADC. So, in triangle ADC. Angle D is equal to 90 degrees. So, again by applying Pythagoras theorem. AC square is equal to opposite to hypotenuse is AC square. AC square is equal to AD square plus DC square. So, AC square is equal to AD square plus DC square. Take it as equation 2. So, now we will subtract equation uh, 2 from equation 1. Subtract equation 2 from equation 1. Let us subtract that. So, LHS minus LHS. That is AB square minus AC square is equal to RHS minus RHS that is AD square plus BD square. We have to put a minus sign and open a bracket because this is a binomial. So, AD square plus DC square. So, AB square minus AC square is equal to AD square plus BD square. Minus into plus AD square is minus AD square. Minus into plus DC square is minus DC square. So, AB square minus AC square is equal to. Uh, okay, we can uh, cancel this. Plus AD square minus AD square gets cancelled. So, remaining is BD square minus DC square. So, we are at the uh, climax of the problem. Very important. So, AB square minus AC square is equal to instead of this BD you can see here BD is 3 units and entire BC is 4 units so therefore BD is 3 units out of 4 units that is 3 by 4 of BC so BD can be written as 3 by 4 of BC whole square minus DC can be written as DC can be written as it is 1 unit out of 4 units, so therefore it is 1 by 4th of BC. So it is 1 by 4 BC 
for the square. So AB square minus AC square is equal to 3, 4, BC all get squared here. So that is 9 BC square by 16 minus uh, 1, 4 and BC gets squared here. That is BC square by 16. So AB square minus AC square is equal to when you take LCM for 16 and 16, it is 16. So 9 BC square by 16 into 16 is 9 BC square minus the same thing up comes that is BC square. So AB square minus AC square is equal to 9 BC square minus 1 BC square is 8 BC square by 16. So 8 1 times, 8 2 times is 16. So AB square minus AC square is equal to BC square by 2 remains. So by 1 it is. So we can go with cross multiplication. So BC square into 1 is BC square is equal to 2 into this. That is 2 into AB square minus AC square. So hence it is true. So it's a very simple and very important two mark rider on Pythagoras theorem. Very important. Okay, let us get into the third problem. Very important for three marks again. It was asked in one of the final exams of CBSC. So in the figure AD perpendicular to BC and uh, BD is uh, 1 by 3 CD. So let us take the diagram. So in the diagram AD perpendicular to BC. So AD is uh, perpendicular to BC. Very simple. This is 90 degrees and this is 90. And BD is 1 by 3 CD. BD is 1 by 3 CD. Okay. So prove that 2 AC square twice the square on AC is equal to twice the square on AB square plus BC square. You have to prove this. So very important. Let us get into data. So in triangle ABC, AD is perpendicular to BC and uh, BD is equal to 1 by 3 CD. So in these type of problems, there is that very simple trick is make this as the subject, make this as the subject with respect to BC, keep it in the data, then go with the problem. So wherever in the problem, if you need to define BD or DC, you can take the help of the data what you have done. So this is the very simple secret for this type of problems. So here BD is 1 by 3 CD which can also be written as CD by 3. So 1 into CD is CD by 3. So BD is equal to CD by 3. So by BD we have 1. So CD into 1 is CD is equal to CD into 1 is CD is equal to BD into 3 is 3 BD. So this is a result. So CD is 3 BD and BD is 1 times, 1 time, this is BD is 1 unit and DC is 3 times BD. Then what will be BC? So BC will be, BC will be BD plus DC, BD plus DC. So BC will be, so it is BD is 1 unit and uh, DC is uh, 3 BD. So it is BD plus DC is 3 BD. So therefore, BC becomes, BC is equal to 1 BD plus 3 BD is 4 BD. So we can uh, define this, uh, that is, okay. So BC is 4 BD, you can uh, take it as a result. So this entire B, BC is 4 times BD or what is DC here? We can also define DC here. So therefore, DC will be, this BD is 1 unit and uh, DC is 3 units. So this when compared to this, this is very big that is 3 times. So BD is to DC is 1 is to 3 ratio is there. So therefore DC is 3 parts out of 4 parts that is BC. DC is 3 parts out of 4 parts. So DC can be written as 3 by 4 BC. BC can be written as 3 by 4 BC. Very, very important results. So if you get ready with all these things in the data itself, problem becomes very easy for you, right? So let us get into 
prove that to prove that 2ac square is equal to 2ab square plus bc square so in the proof we will get into this right so now take triangle uh, abd in triangle abd angle adb is equal to 90 degrees so in triangle abd angle d is equal to 90 degrees so therefore by applying pythagoras theorem opposite to 90 degrees is ab square so ab square is equal to ad square plus bd square ad square plus bd square so take it as equation 1 so now let us take this triangle in triangle abc in triangle abc angle d is equal to 90 degrees so therefore by applying pythagoras theorem opposite to 90 degrees is ac square so ac square is equal to ad square plus bc square ad square plus bc square take it as equation 2 so now subtract equation 2 from equation 1 this equation from equ this equation so subtract equation 2 from equation 1 ok so LHS minus LHS is AB square minus AC square is equal to this minus this so AD square plus BD square minus AD square plus DC square so AB square minus AC square is equal to AD square plus BD square minus into plus AD square is minus AD square minus into plus DC square is minus BC square so plus AD square minus AD square gets cancelled so AB square minus AC square is equal to we are left with BD square minus this one that is DC square so very important at this point you have to be very careful so <coughs> okay ab square minus ab square minus ac square is equal to bd uh, right as it is how it comes so bd square minus dc can written as dc can written as 3 by 4 bc dc can written as 3 by 4 that is already which is uh, derived here so 3 by 4 BC instead of that is DC so that is 3 by 4 uh, BC that becomes whole square 3 by 4 BC whole square so now BD can also be defined no problem it is 1 by 4 BC 1 by 4 BC all square so just uh, will, uh, so you can look here BD is one unit and DC is three units so DC is uh, four BD so as DC is three BD and BD is one unit so one unit plus three units entire BC will be four units this is four units from here to here it is four units so BD is one part of out of one part out of four parts so therefore it becomes 1 by 4 BC BD can written as 1 by 4 BC and DC can written as 3 by 4 BC right so that is what I have substituted there so out of, instead of BD I have written 1 by 4 BC and instead of DC I have written 1 by, 3 by 4 BC ok so AB square minus AC square is equal to uh, that comes to BC square by 16 minus it comes to 9 BC square 9 BC square by 16 right so very simple so AB square minus AC square is equal to for 16 and 16 LCM is 16 so BC square minus uh, 9 BC square very simple so AB square minus AC square is equal to 1 BC square minus 9 BC square is minus 8 BC square by 16. So minus 8 1s are minus 8 plus minus 8 minus 2s are is 16. So that becomes uh, 
you know, cross multiply by one we have, when we go for cross multiplication it becomes, uh, okay, AB square minus AC square is equal to minus 2BC square by, okay, so minus minus bc square by 2. So this can be written like this because I have transferred this minus sign to the uh, that is numerator so it becomes minus remains there. So minus 1 bc square is minus bc square and 2 remains here. So by 1 let us go with cross multiplication. So 2, 2 into ab square minus ac square can be written uh, okay 2 into ab square minus ac square is equal to minus bc square. So 2 into ab square is 2ab square. 2 into minus ac square is minus 2ac square is equal to minus bc square. So we will we'll transpose this minus 2ac square to RHS and we will transpose this minus bc square to uh, that is LHS. So that becomes 2ab square plus bc square is equal to minus 2 ac square on going to the RHS it becomes 2 ac square. So this is what is to be proved. So this is for 2 marks sorry 3 marks very important writer on Pythagoras theorem very important. Let us get into the fourth problem which is again a very important writer on 2 marks which I was asked in one of the CBC examinations right. So in the given figure ABC is a right angle triangle. So ABC is a right angle triangle. Angle B is equal to 90 degrees. So we will mark it. Angle B is equal to 90 degrees. Okay. D is the midpoint of BC. D is the midpoint of BC. Usually this would not be some the midpoint. Uh, some ratios were given in the previous riders. We have seen that. But here in this particular problem, D is the midpoint of BC, so therefore BD is equal to DC. So show that AC square is equal to AC square is equal to AD square plus 3CD square. The square on AC is equal to the square on AD plus 3 times the square on CD. We have to prove this, right? Okay, let us enter the data. So in triangle ABC. Angle B is equal to 90 degrees and very important is D is the midpoint of BC. D is the midpoint of BC. So therefore, BD is equal to DC. So therefore, BD is equal to DC is equal to half of AB. Sorry, half of BC. So, D is the midpoint of BC. So therefore, BD will be equal to DC. So BD is half of BC, also DC is half of BC. So now this can also be written as BD is equal to half of BC can be written as BD is equal to DC is equal to uh, or you can write uh, BC is equal to DC is equal to twice BD or or it is equal to twice dc this can also be done okay anyway so to prove that to prove that ac square is equal to ad square plus 3 cd square so this is to be proved so let us get into proof okay so let us take the big triangle that is triangle abc so in triangle ABC angle B is equal to 90 degrees. So according to Pythagoras theorem, right angle opposite side is AC. So AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. So AC square is equal to AB square, let it remain in the same manner, plus BC can be defined as 2 times BD, 2 times BD, uh, 2 times BD whole square, 2 times BD whole square, ok, so AC square is equal to AB square plus 
4 bd square that becomes 4 bd square okay so ac square is equal to ab square plus bd square plus 3 bd square so what i have done is here or instead of 4 bd square i have written as 1 bd square plus 3 bd square so the same thing remains so ac square is equal to ab square we will write as it is plus uh, okay let us do one thing so what is ab square plus bd square from the figure so ab square plus bd square from the figure it is in triangle abd angle b is 90 degrees so ad square is equal to ab square plus bd square so instead of ab square plus bd square i can write ad square so it is ad square plus 3bd square right okay anyway so ac square is equal to ad square plus here bd is equal to dc so instead of bd i can write dc bd is equal to dc so therefore instead of this bd i can write dc that becomes 3 dc square so because bd is equal to dc so hence it is good so it's a very nice two marks rider on pythagoras theorem okay so with this we will uh, conclude this session all the four riders done today are very very important so first two riders please practice them very well because it needs more and more uh, grip and, and unless you practice that you won't get a grip on that so this sunday you are going to write a test on uh, the topic right angle triangle starting from the right angle triangle pythagoras theorem until this session the problems will be asked in the test so please practice well i wish you all the best and once again i thank you for uh, supporting us to make to cross 100 videos on sp gobi online classes so stay home stay safe and keep learning thank you